Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I want to talk about how AMD GPUs is able to mine Dynex finally, and SRB Multiminer 2.2 is out. So we added the algorithm or the Dynex salve algorithm for AMD GPUs, AMD Intel, and NVIDIA. Intel also got some updates to where they can, um, you know, added support for auto Lycos or Ergo, ETC hash, EF hash, so on and so forth. So Intel Arc gets some love as well. Um, they added the Dynex uh, Mallow parameter, um, also fixed Blake 3, Ironfish, and SHA-256 DT. So a couple updates here. As far as Dynex mining, which is the main focus, um, you see here Dynex can be dual mined with Zill. So I'm going to show you my flight sheet, but it also states uh, a little bit of a warning here, right? So on Windows users, Dynex uh, proof of useful work, computations are long, so you should apply the TDR fix. Um, can be found in the help folder or else driver cr uh, crashes might occur. The TDR fix that they're talking about is when you open up this folder and you go up to the help section, AMD TDR fix. And if you double click that, you're going to get this little warning. And this warning is, is the registry edit. And I know that might seem scary. And, you know, it, you never want to edit your registry unless you know what you're doing and you're using or you're getting stuff from known sources. So this can be a little bit scary. Um, but I'm going to apply that because we got the Ryzen 7900 XTX and I want to find out if it can even mine this cryptocurrency. So the flight sheet, um, the default one is actually all set with everything you need. Um, I just took out everything with Neuropool. So here's the original flight sheet, right? We got disable CPU, which is needed, algorithm Dynex, Malup endpoint. They got both of them. You could technically leave that there regardless if you change the pool to Neuro or EKA pool. But I just updated to the US one on um, both. And then you just add your wallet here. So with that said, now all I got to do is save this as a new batch file. Right? So give it a name that you that you care about. And type dot BAT. And so now we have it down here at the bottom along with a number of our miners. But I haven't applied the registry edit yet. So we're going to do that. Now here we are. It seems the 7900 XTX may not be coded into this yet, um, but I got a Malib error off rip, right? Usually with EK pool, you want to let it run after the, the updates and situation that happened recently. So if you're getting a Malib error, let it run, but it might not be the 7000 series might not be able to do it. You can see that the registry key was applied up here. The keys and values contained, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Now I am going to do something else here by going to properties, right clicking SRB multi, go to properties, going to get uh, compatibility run as administrator, apply. I doubt that will make a difference. Again, the 7000 series uh, from AMD seems to be a little bit, a little bit funky, but I don't think it's going to work with this particular update. However, your 6000 series, maybe your 5000 series or some of the older NVIDIA GPUs uh, should work in theory. Yep. So 7,000 series not supported. Go test it out on your AMD rig. I'm about to do the same in Hive OS. I chose to go the custom route when installing this, uh, the new update for SRB miner, but you can just update SRB, you know, version 2.1 to 2.2 .2 with this script right here. But I'm trying to custom just to see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to bump it to issues. I already know that because the Dynex mining and, and uh, especially with AMD is just being supported. So we'll see how things go. But you can go either route and then again report what issues you're seeing in the Dynex Discord. And finally, I got it working, but I still need to do a lot of GPU tuning. Just FYI, pause the screen if you need to. You're going to need to kind of set it up like this. Okay. If you're going to use the custom one, give it a name. Put in the custom URL, which you could get from the main website. Then uh, Dynex Solve, worker name, pool URL, password, and then all of these extra config arguments are what you're going to need. Pause it, grab it, jump in the Discord, as I said, 10,000 times, and share your information, insight, or issues so that they can help you. Good luck, and do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel. If you need Hive installation URL, here it is right here. Um, otherwise, if you scroll down, you can get the download for Windows. Take care.